We are live and we are back on Amazon Live. <laughs> I'm so glad that you guys are still with me. Hopefully, Rose and Linda's still here. And I want to introduce this lovely woman who I just met recently. You know how sometimes, like, you put yourself out there and then God meets you right where you're at. He brings the right people along because you are allowing, like Julian said. So I was on Clubhouse. I was doing, I think I was speaking on a stage. And this lady reached out to me and said, I want to decorate your new, your new studio and your show. And I said... That would be amazing. Nobody ever said, does that. And so I just want to introduce my special guest from House of Cindy, her own company in LA, downtown LA, where she makes all of these pillows, everything that you see here, the, all the candles, everything. She brought everything, the, all the behind the scenes stuff. But these pillows are so beautiful. Thank and you. you said they're sustainable material. They're eco-friendly. Tell us all about your pillows. I want to know how you started the company. I want to know everything about you. <laughs> Who is Cindy Skoskowski? <laughs> Tell me right now. Um, so I, I, gosh, I mean, I've been um, in this industry for a really long time, in the home furnishings industry for about 25 years. Ooh. And so my strategy, I say, is to never give up. Never? I want to show, just, I'm going to fix your... To really just, right just to stay in the game and to never give up. Game, Thank you it. so much. See, like that's, that's an example of, you, girl. of the feminine <laughs> helping right. the feminine that's out. Right. I've been in the industry for 25 years, so I took a couple years off, and then I was at um, one of our wholesale trade shows, and I walked around in all the different showrooms, and everywhere I saw dead animals. Mm. I saw hides. I saw I saw shells in boxes. I saw butterflies in boxes. I saw, and I could wow. see like how much. Like, like human beings really relate with animals and yeah. we use power animals in our life. Mm -hmm. But I just was like, we need to have a sustainable, eco-friendly, yes. vegan, yes. cruelty-free home wow. furnishing so company. You, so that's, you have all that. Yeah. So I have all of that wow. that I've incorporated in the brand and um, we manufacture everything here in LA. And what's great about that is, is we, we don't have to. Um, there's such a, an amazing community here yeah. in LA because we have an incredible fashion industry. And because of that, we have all these resources that are around us. And I realized that at a certain point, because I was traveling the world, I was going to China and Morocco. To so get all of the I'm bringing, yeah. So mm -hmm. I source vintage textiles from around the world. And okay. so I would go textile hunting oh, and I go out into the fun, world. Though. Oh, That's a show. Yeah. <laughs> So That's much fun, yeah. so much fun. And there's so much beauty. And so really what I do is I sort of like um, bring cultures together mm -hmm. through the love of textiles. Mm. Because textiles are really so deeply rooted in so many different cultures around mm. the world. Wow. Like Guatemala is still really yes. it's weaving, hand Guatemala. weaving. Ooh, Africa. Africa. Does some beautiful materials. Yes. I, so many yeah. countries around the world are still weaving fabrics. Yes. And it's still very much part of the culture. So I... When I was seven years old, my grandmother taught me how to sew. That's where it starts. Yes. I love it. And it's so important, like the feminine yes, teaching the I feminine. Yes, I love it. Grandma. And what was your grandma's name? Her name was Adeline. Adeline. I, love I know. That name. It's such a beautiful name. So feminine. Yeah. And she was incredibly feminine. She was really the first um, original Martha Stewart. Like love she that. had a rose garden. Right. She had, she taught me how to sew. Aww. She did ceramics. She cooked. She like just did everything. She really was. Like I say, I'm a third generation creator mm. because my father also inherited the creative, his creative genius from her. Mm -hmm. So I can see like the lineage through our family. And so my father, he built a boat. And when I was seven, no, when I was four, we sailed to Hawaii. He built he a built boat. He built a boat. And you'd like the way she just flowed right through that. <laughs> my father built a boat and then we went to Hawaii. Yeah. How, what did he build the boat out of? I, so he built it out of wood in our backyard in San Diego, uh, a trimaran, a 32-foot trimaran. This, but is what, okay, this was so like but, 1968. Okay, but it's so, wood, so obviously there has to be something to treat the wood and stuff, right? Because yeah, you can't you, have that in water. So you cover the wood uh, with fiberglass. Got it. So fiberglass. So it's a wooden okay. hole covered with fiberglass. That's how, that's how all wooden boats are, are, okay. are built or created or I don't know, yeah. whatever. So anyways, <laughs> so I come from this incredible lineage of oh, creators. Wow. And so I really feel like I inherited that. And my mom says I grew up, instead of in a sandbox, I grew up in my dad's sawdust pile. Nice. Because I would always <laughs> just go and hang out with him. I, I just wanted to hang out and be with him in his workroom while he was creating and, and building and doing things. So do you have any pictures of you as a little girl in 
the sawdust or where your dad built stuff, looking at your dad. No. I love those pictures. I know, those pictures are amazing. No, I have other pictures with him, like okay. he's, like the boat is, the whole of the boat is behind us and he's mm -hmm. holding me and I'm like literally two years old so or something. Cool. But just so that adventurous spirit, yeah. and like the, the free, the free, like I really was so impacted, I think, looking back by him and his ability to be so free with his creativity mm -hmm. and create everything he ever wanted in his life. He took it to the next level. Oh my gosh. Like he didn't just buy the boat, yeah. he built the boat and then he sailed it. And then, in, and it's just like 1969, so there was no GPS. So yeah. how he got to Hawaii is he went and he took a sextant and did a sun shot every day. And in 20 days, we <laughs> arrived in Hawaii. Wait, excuse me, <laughs> Billigan's Island. I know. That's what's coming to my head. Isn't that the thing they shot up to get rescued? What is it yeah. called? I don't know. Oh, no, a flare? Like a flare? Yeah, like a flare. Yeah, a flare. Like Gilligan's <laughs> Island. Yeah, we're just reliving Gilligan's Island right now. I love it. I know. So I was born into this adventure as yeah. like father, family. Oh my gosh. And then Cindy. my mother is a painter. And so it's just sort of wow. like on both sides of my family. So because of that, yeah. my creativity was supported wow. and recognized by my family. That is so, what you're saying right now is it almost makes me a little bit emotional, but I don't want to cry because my eyelashes will fall off. <laughs> but I will say, I think it's so important for kids, even at that age, they say from one to six is the most pivotal time in, in a person's life. Absolutely. From one to six. And if a parent is constantly, and Tim's story says this the best, and it's actually in his book, and he said this when he was on, on Oprah Winfrey on uh, Super Soul Sunday, that so many times parents are shutting their kids down. They're shutting their kids down. Mm -hmm. It's too loud. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Be and a lot of it is just a reflection of themselves. They're projecting stuff onto their kids. When you're telling me right now, I watched my dad build a boat. I watched my mom paint. I watched my grandmother make textiles and like, you know, sewing and things. Immediately you were inspired by that, by that, by that. Nobody was saying, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. And I'm saying this to the parents out there. Kids need to know that it's okay to be creative no matter what it is. Because I think a lot of times, just so that we're comfortable as parents, we try to put kids into a little box that makes us comfortable. So yeah. I love what you're saying right now, that they just allowed you to be you and to be creative and to be inspired by who they were. And they showed me how to create. Like, wow. not even did they just let me be, but they, 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 uh, inspired it they yeah. they fanned my flames of creativity oh, yeah. and so like that's the great thing about a grandparent I mean I think that's the grand the, the gift that a grandparent can really give a grandchild is it's not the parent schooling them and telling them no and this and that yeah. but the grandparent gets to really play with right. children and really give their gifts down to yeah. that like that next generation there's a freedom with grandparents yes yeah, yeah absolutely yeah so you're now you have this incredible company and I listen thank you to Clubhouse I have to say I know we're on Amazon I know. but thank you to Clubhouse because I've met so many incredible people Julian you but so much I've been on there for two years and you heard me yesterday or two days ago and and you said I want to help support you and then you showed up in a van a white unnamed van <laughs> <laughs> Which is dangerous. Don't ever go in. No, I'm kidding. I know. Uh, Mars. No, I'm kidding. I was telling Jennifer <laughs> yesterday, like, we should really get some, like, logo. Cindy medallions because we have yes. our medallion logo here, right? Of course. So, like, we should really put you our, should wrap our medallion. The I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You wrap the van. You got to wrap the van because the unmarked white van. Oh, girl. I know. So, <laughs> in this town, it's scary. In this town, it's very scary. So, you came through and you were in your van. You brought Jennifer, your assistant, with you, who's with us right now, too. Yeah. And we'll maybe say hi to Jennifer as well. But, and you brought everything out. You brought the poof. You brought the pill. All these pillows are yours. The beautiful blanket. The the stuff that you see in the background. The feathers. And you just came in. And 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 by the way, she's doing all this complimentary, which I, which I appreciate because we don't have a budget yet. And I'm just putting it out there. We don't have a budget yet. But I know that when you put yourself out there and you allow, I'm always going to take that from Julian saying that that God meets you right where you are. I'm a pastor's kid. So I'm always going to preach a little bit. Right. But thank you. All that to say thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. And thank you for, for being open to receiving. 
Aww, yeah, because that's that. what the feminine does. The feminine is receptive. Yeah. And so when two women are receptive to each other, yeah, like it's like we can really build each other up. And it's yeah. so amazing that that's the power of the feminine. Yeah, and by the way, you look gorgeous. Thank you. Because you could have come in your jeans and your t-shirt, not that there's anything wrong with that, but like from head to toe, from the, fla from the earrings to the pearls to the, you're just so classy. Thank you. Like your hair, all of it. You're Thank so beautiful. You. And Jennifer, her <laughs> sister, is so beautiful. I just, I love when women are like in their feminine and like they're just classic. Yeah. And what can I do to support you now? Like, because you do, you you do design, obviously studios. You do homes. So, so what House of Cindy is is we are a wholesale manufacturer. We actually cut and sew pillows and, and make poofs and do all of our production in-house in wow. LA. All American made. All American made, so Amazing. all American made, sourced yeah. within 10 square miles in my design studio. That's like yeah. my major focus. Yeah. Um, Forgive the people in the background that are talking while we're trying to do an interview, but go ahead. We focus on, um, <laughs> we focus on high end, yes. um, made to order products. So love everything it. we do is we cut and sew these five days a week in our design really? studio. Yeah. So it's I made, it. everything's made local. Um, and then we focus on like, this is our, uh, Topanga linen. Topanga linen. It's our Topanga linen. I made love after it. our fabulous Topanga. So this is 12 Topanga ounce. Canyon? Yeah. 12 oh, I love ounce. It. I love Topanga you know, Canyon. I'm Juni I'm, Park is from Topanga. I'm local girls. So I'm like, everything is like, kind of like, it. you know, inspired. And locally. Topanga Canyon, by the way, for those of you that don't know, and those of you that live in LA that haven't been there, it's very <laughs> earthy. You I feel yeah. like you just landed in Colorado and, yeah, and <laughs> with the Birkenstocks and everything is sustainable and like organic and vegan and I love it. Well, there's an energetic vortex up there. So yes. you really feel it. Yes. There's actually a lot of creatives over the years a have lot. lived up in Topanga yes. because it does foster like that. That earthy, like Creativity. organic nature, it. connected yeah. to nature. Yeah, absolutely. So, so I mean, we focus on linen, eco-friendly. Everything like cotton linen. Everything we do is natural fiber, biodegradable, cradle to cradle. Wow. Um, you can tell our product because on the back we have just our natural linen, and then this our label on the Lovely back label. here. That's how you can tell our pillows. And then, really, what's so important? It, I don't know if anyone knows this, but what's inside your pillow is mm. so important. Is it feathers? To your health. And well-being it is white goose down feathers Ooh, so it's a high fancy high, high quality <laughs> fill yeah love it. fancy is love right it. you definitely want to cuddle with this Good girl night. yes <laughs> i have a couple girlfriends i don't one of they might be watching because they they follow me on instagram but two of my girlfriends who are like major designers like they design a lot of celebrity homes and stuff like that oh, i'm I gonna i'm gonna hook you guys up okay because i know that they're always looking for pillows and and yes. high-end stuff because right. your stuff is high-end girl like there's yes. Come on now, this is high end stuff. Yeah, yeah. So you need to have a little cha ching, cha ching. You need to have the bag, okay? <laughs> to buy some of Cindy's stuff. So I'm gonna set you up with some of my designer friends. That would be so yeah, amazing. Yeah, because I think really they, they can use that. your stuff for sure. Um, so I think we're gonna bring Jennifer on, unless you have. Do you want to say anything else before Jennifer comes no, on? No, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Well, so Jennifer, like yes. Jennifer is my um, new assistant. I just hired and she's in charge of our social media at House of Cindy. Yay. She's doing a fantastic job. Yay. We've had like all kinds of great response in the past two weeks of our new TikTok. We've just set up a TikTok account. Nice. Like how important is that? I love it. Hello. Hello. Come on Hello. in, girl. Come Excuse sit here. Come on Look in. at this beautiful queen. Hi. And she's wearing Hi. the right colors for the show. I love it. They didn't even know that they were going to be on this was a total last minute thing because i wanted to feature you because you were so kind to come and like do all of this for us so i was like why not let's have a whole interview so this Aww. is your first time doing anything like this right? yeah this is my first time doing anything <laughs> like it. this although i did during the pandemic for like two years every friday oh so this is my feel good friday oh so every friday i would go live this is like i'm on episode 30 of my feel good friday but i would go live on a friday and i would just Talk, talk about camera. feeling good because the media was so negative, negative I yeah. felt that I wanted to elevate the environment with a positive conversation so I did feel good Friday can you give us a 30 second feel good Friday to the camera um, <laughs> no pressure <laughs> Episode 30 of Feel Good Friday. I am sitting here on the set with of Welcome to My Clubhouse. It's the premiere of Welcome to My Clubhouse. And with Sally Kalon, who I just met on, yay! Who I just met on 
Clubhouse last week and I was like, she talked something about getting pillows. And I was like, I can do pillows for you. And she's like, really? really? She's like, really? I'm like, yeah. And here we are two <laughs> days that's later. The, that's the one thing I can do. Definitely. Incredible. So, so yeah. So it's such an honor and a pleasure to know you. Thank you. And thank you for being so generous. Aren't they amazing, Jennifer? Yes. Wait, we were such just, a warm welcome. We were just saying earlier, they're so nice. <laughs> well, girl, if we're going to be friends, my last name is pronounced Colon. Colon. Oh, so Colon. sorry. So a lot of you. So listen, my whole, my whole life. I, C-O-L-O-N, you know, teachers don't know how to put the accent mark. It was colon. Oh. And I was, they're like, Sally Colon. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe she just said that. Sally Colon. It's colon. There's an accent mark above the second O. So my, <laughs> so my family is from, originally from the Canary Islands of Spain. And then my parents were born and raised in Puerto Rico. So I am Latina. So my last name is Sally Colon. Gracias. Oh, Colón. Yes. Like Colón. Like man's Colón. 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 I got to get your last name. Tell me again. Siskowski. Wow. Siskowski. Polish. Siskowski. Polish. Yes, of course. <laughs> I was going to say Ukrainian or Polish. Siskowski. There you go. Am I saying that right? Yes. Siskowski. Mrs. Colón. Siskowski. Mrs. Colón. And then so we're bringing, we brought Jennifer. Jennifer is, what's your last name? Pike, P-I-K-E. Oh, <laughs> short and sweet. <laughs> short and sweet. <laughs> and Jennifer Pike, like Pike. just started with you this how long ago? A couple weeks. Brand new. Like a couple, like a month and a half. A month and a half. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're so you're doing the social media and you're helping with what? Tell me what else. Pretty much everything. Like she took me along and we've just been doing a bunch of creative projects. Like this, for example, it's been fun. We've been doing social media. We made a TikTok account. We've been getting some traction on there, and it's just been fun. Wow. Just figuring out like new tactics on how to bring on more people. It's a great job. Do you do you need a part time job? You're a social media girl. <laughs> I'm a freelancer. Listen, if you know. If you know, honestly, I did, we, we were just talking about today. She has somebody in mind. We're going to have a conversation with her first. But we are looking for an intern. We're looking at an intern. We're not paying them yet. So maybe <laughs> okay. you're too expensive for us. But we are looking for an intern uh, to help us with social media and different things that Angie and I are putting together right now. So call me. Mm -hmm. uh, so how, what do you like better, the social media side or the design side? Ooh, that's a tough question. I like incorporating them into each other. So I love doing the design. I love being creative and I love coming up with new ideas, especially with other people. It's just like fun to bounce ideas off of other people. And then I like posting the work. So posting I like both of it. Okay. So I need to know, cause people need to know what is the trend right now on Instagram and TikTok and all the different social media platforms uh, on Instagram. It's definitely reels are like the thing right now. If you're not doing reels, you're not doing Instagram. So, okay. and posting so like true. shorter videos. Shorter. So that way, because I feel like a lot of people don't really have that super long attention span right yes. now, sure. thanks to TikTok. Yeah, so sure. short is better, yeah. like cut out all like the extra stuff, okay. like what's important. Got and it. then for TikTok, oh my gosh, it changes notes. like every day. So what would you, wait, 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 let's cut back. So what would you say short? Is it, is it three seconds? Is it yeah, five seconds? Is it ten yeah, seconds? okay. So really what you want to do is you want to pick an audio that's like trending or an audio that's fitting for your mm -hmm. video. That's right. And then what you're going to do is you're going to make that as short as you can fit the audio and don't like pick super long audios. Okay. I would say like five seconds is the sweet spot okay, because whenever people oh, sorry, watch okay. it over and over, yes. it's really engaging and it helps push it. Ooh. And here's how you know if it's trending. I just found this out the other day. If there's an arrow going up. Mm -hmm. So instead of the music sign, if there's an arrow going up, that means that song is trending. Thank yes. you. I learned that just recently. Of course. <laughs> but, okay. It's a great tool. But here, Jennifer, here's what I want to ask because everyone's up in arms right now about Instagram is turning into TikTok. Do yeah. you agree with that? I do. I feel like there's a lot of backlash from like all the yes. Instagram being like every other app. Yes. But they said that they were going to like revert it back to old Instagram, just Are being they? like a photo More sharing photos. app. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like the reels. I like the reels I'm too. I'm enjoying the reels. So you I don't know want what? Them to go. All of you people that are pissed <laughs> off, go somewhere else. Okay. We like what is happening right now. The reels are, the reels are like 650% Yes, they're so effective. So the end. So uh, can I chime in on this? Yes. The reason is is because the influencers are not getting money now because oh. the influencers would get paid for single posts mm -hmm. right. and visuals, right. and so now the influencers have to make reels and they have right. to make video. So, so I'm one of those influencers that gets paid right on Instagram, mm -hmm. but I'm getting paid only on reels. So if reels goes yeah. away, 
my bag goes away. <laughs> so we need reels to stay there. Yeah. Right, yeah, so, so yeah. that's what all the controversy is about. So right. that's why okay. there was all of the up in arms up a couple weeks arms. ago. Yeah. Instagram said it was gonna cut back, but you know, Instagram is Instagram, so. They're gonna make their money. They're getting they're, their bag too, trust me. Yeah. And reels is working. <laughs> Sorry. Reels, reels is working, is working. People, okay? <laughs> people that don't want to do it you can go back to Facebook where all the older people are okay <laughs> notice I don't go on Facebook even though I'm older but I don't care I'm staying on Instagram <laughs> so uh, how is this working out so far are you, are you enjoying Jennifer is she doing a good job Je Jennifer's doing a great job yes thank you yes yes it's like my long-awaited um, assistant who Aww. can just like do everything like you know just like she set up our TikTok and do like all of the things I need done it's really um it's really great because she's very receptive yeah. and she's got a great mindset and she's really positive and that's what's really important you know as for an assistant or an employee is that they're open to to yeah. learning and receiving and coming up like just even with their own ideas saying I think we should do this or I think we should do that because I'm that kind of boss like I'm not going to come in and tell you you have to do this you have to do that mm. like I want your collaboration Love I that. welcome her collaboration and yeah. her creation because I want her to grow and learn yes. yeah and, yeah it's it definitely important. like helps me grow as a person too just career wise being like okay I have the opportunity that Cindy's giving me how can I take her product and elevate it in my my own style but together so it's like showing me how far I can take things which oh, I really like I love that so yeah. much yeah so we have how much time do we have producer Angie Angie You're we're 10 minutes okay this is saying low battery so we, somebody needs just needs to press a little button so it doesn't show that anymore and then um, I think we'll we'll keep we'll go like five more minutes producer Andy cool okay. so I wanted to ask Cindy because you know, we were talking about being in the shallow end and like having this great, fabulous idea. And then you start, you know, like tiptoeing in and then you get in the deep end where like you run out of money or, you know, maybe your idea wasn't that grand or maybe people aren't really inspired by your thing. But you went all the way into deep end and you kept going and you created House of Cindy. In moments where maybe you got a little bit scared, maybe you ran out of money, maybe you, you know, you were like, I don't think this is a good idea after all. Did you ever have those moments? Of course. What did you do in those moments? Because I want to inspire entrepreneurs, especially women, single women, you know, moms, single moms that are out there saying, I want to start something like what you're doing or what I'm doing or what, how would you, what would you say to them to stick in there? Like, what did you do to stick in? You know, it was a real learning lesson. Like I, I had arrived in, I'll tell you about one trip. I arrived in Marrakesh because I wanted to go and I'm single and it was Christmas time. And I'm like, I want to go to Marrakesh. I had no money to go. Mm. So I went to Marrakesh. I had just enough to like get me there. Right. <laughs> and then once you get there, what do you do? And so no, 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 so I had enough to get there because I went there on a buying trip. So I didn't have okay. a lot of capital to buy. Okay. And so I was there and then I started to, um, I, and I was like really tense. And so I started to listen to this, this meditation every night that was a meditation on how to be a millionaire. Mm. And I would listen to the meditation at night and it would relax my body. Right. So that's the key to creating wealth is to actually relax mm. and not be in tension and not be in stress and not be in fear and not be in right. lack. Just relaxing. And scarcity. But just scarcity relaxing. Scarcity is a good word. Not just relaxing the body. So I did that and then I ended up selling on that trip like $10,000 worth of rugs. Wow. So I just flipped $10,000 worth of rugs. Amazing. And got the, got cash and went home. And, you know, it was just like that. I don't know, just those kinds of moments where you really just have to have faith in yourself and your vision and your dream. And yes. you don't lean back. You actually lean, lean into forward, it. Lean in. And yes. just when you think you're, you know, it's like you have to step out onto that invisible bridge. You know, it's like Joseph Campbell talks about the hero's journey. Mm -hmm. And it's that Love is that the book. hero's journey when we just step out and we keep going and we keep believing in ourselves mm -hmm. and we get past that fear that's inside of us. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Here's what I'm what I'm getting from that for everyone that's listening. Hopefully you guys listen to lean in and Brene Brown talks about leaning in as well. Yeah. But it's it's going all in. Going yeah. all in. So you can't just go halfway in because because your fear is going to pull you back. So even if you go like 75%, still that fear is going to pull you back. 
you have to be all in. I'm a creator in my industry. Mm -hmm. I'm actually a creator. And so I'm always spearheading like the next look. So everyone's wow. always copying me. So I'm usually like wow. five years ahead. Go girl. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. because of intuition. Yes. I use intuition. I'm an intuitive designer. I use mm -hmm. intuition in every decision I make in my business. Right. And that's something that you can't learn in school. Right. You can't, no one can teach you that. Like you have to like connect with your own self, your mm -hmm. own soul, and you have to know yourself. I always say you can't be yourself if you don't know yourself. Yeah. So that to me, a lot of people don't even know who they are. So, so I'm, we're going to, we're going to close this up right now, but I wanted to give you guys, if either one of you guys, the final word or let us know where people can find you so that if they're interested in having you come and partner with them on design, that would be fabulous. Tell our audience, Instagram, TikTok, everybody. <laughs> House of Cindy LA. <laughs> Thank you so much for having us. This is really Yay. fun. So houseofcindy.com. Houseofcindy.com. Houseofcindy.com <laughs> or Beautiful. on Instagram or House of Cindy LA. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, I love you guys all. Thank you so much for being with us on Amazon Live. Make sure, did you guys see all the good Sally's favorite things? Yes, amazing. Amazing. I can't wait to I'm getting read that this battery book. pack. This I book. can't wait to read this book. Women, Women like, like us. us. I'm so excited to see the film and to read yes, the book and yes. to really learn, know more about you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, as a creator <laughs> and a filmmaker and just like knowing who you are in the world and then what you. you give back and what you do for other women. Women and just probably people in general. Thank you. How you inspire and elevate others. It's really yeah. such a wonderful gift to um, to have and to give. Thank you. You have it too, girlfriend. <laughs> you have it too, girlfriend. We all have it. <laughs> so this is Women Like Us. For those of you that don't know, it's a corresponding book to my film, my documentary called Women Like Us. That right now is being licensed around the world. They just translated it into Arabic. Oh, wow. So it's That's in the Middle amazing. East, it's in Australia, it's in London, it's in Portugal. I'm so excited that people are watching this film and then uh, we're getting ready to sign with a distributor to get it up on, on a streaming so that everyone can watch it. Um, and I hope you're inspired. Moby gave us all the music. He's featured, uh, the, the former first lady of Kenya is in it. Sherry wow. Shepard, who just got her own show on Fox, who's a good friend of mine. Um, September 12th, make sure you check out my girlfriend, Sherry Shepard. I'm going to promote that until the show starts. Um, but we have a book as well. This is available on Amazon. All of these books are available on Amazon, including Tim Story's uh, Miracle Mentality. Make sure to pick up your charger. <laughs> Hello. If you need to charge your car, forget your neighbor. You oh, got your own charging station. <laughs> but so many things. Check out the carousel. Make sure to purchase some items today. Buy them for your family members, your kids, your uncle, your brother, your cousin from North Carolina, whatever. <laughs> um, and I thank you all for joining. Thank you, Instagram. Thank you, TikTok. Thank you, Cindy's Instagram. Thank you, Amazon Live. I am back. We will see you next week with my guest, Brian Rader, who's uh, Warner works at Warner Brothers he's an Entertainment Executive, and he's going to be right here on the couch with me. So make sure you tune in next week. In the meantime, thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Thank Denver. you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>